So every now and again, I log into my WordPress admin dashboard to check if I have any updates. So today I was in my plugins list and I noticed that Cardflows had an update from 1.1 something to 2.0. So now we have Cardflows 2.0. So I was very excited because uh, there were not major updates when since uh, Cardflows launched. So let's take a look and see what uh, updates Cardflows did because obviously from 1.0 to 2.0, this should be a major update. So let's take a look and see what changes we have here. So I have this installed and you can see here on the left, I'm gonna click here and go to my dashboard. So first things first, I can see here that this has been revamped and they've taken the focus more onto showing you the money that you're making with your um, funnels, which I think is really, really good because if you have a funnel, the most important thing that you wanna see is the stats on how your funnels are performing and they've done that and I really like this. But anyway, this looks very nice, it's very modern. I also like the colors here and uh, it also shows the recent orders on the bottom. Now I won't show you that because there's some emails there for my customers. I'm sure they won't be happy me sharing those emails. All right, so here straight away, we have this navigation here we have funnels which is in this tab and i like that because it's very very easy to find so these are the funnels it also gives you the total of uh, what these funnels are making which is pretty cool and then finally we have the store checkout i really need to look closer into this or oh, in fact this is a global checkout all right so let's see if there are any major updates to this so back over here on the funnels i really want to see if uh, it is very easy to create our funnels or if it's very easy for us to go in and customize our funnels. All right, so let's pretend we need to create a brand new one. So I'm gonna come over here. So straight away, you notice that we have all our templates here, which I think is pretty cool because they are very, very easy to find or you can go in and start from scratch. So what I wanna do is to start from scratch and see what really happens here. All right, so let's say design your flow. Okay, so these are my steps. And if I go into edit step, I'm gonna open this in a new tab. Okay, so this is taking us straight to the builder itself. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I guess that's okay. And if I go into the settings here, this is where we can go in and customize the, uh, the step slug there. And here we can view what this looks like. And then we have these three little dots here. So this is where you can do your, your duplication or you can do A-B test. I like the fact that everything is very close, very uh, easy to find. Now, what I think is missing here is that visual builder where you can build your funnels visually. Because right now, I think we're still stuck with the old way of doing things, which is your steps here. And yes, you can drag and drop them like that. But what I can see so far is just an uplift of just the UI. But I'm not sure why they have done away with the uh, visual builder. Because they had it in uh, Cardflow's 1.1 uh, 1 something. So that seems to have gone now. And for me, that is one of the most important feature they should have really worked on because we're still back on these uh, steps where you can just, you know, or, uh, steps which you can just drag and drop and so on. Now, I prefer to have this visually. So I'm not sure if this is in the works or I'm missing something because I really tried to look for it and I can't find it. So let's see what we have here. So there's this little arrow here, drop down. Okay, this gives us more stats. I really like the fact that we can see all our stats for our, for our funnels. Uh, so here it shows us the landing page, the checkout and all of that. It gives us the revenue, the conversion rate. I think this is good. And these stats are relevant to running a funnel on uh, pretty much any funnel for that matter because stats are very, very important because this is where we need to go in and make some changes, make some tweaks to make sure that our funnels are running okay. But back to um, this issue of the visual builder. <sighs> I don't know, maybe it's just me. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you prefer the visual builder or do you just prefer using these um, steps, you know, one above the other? Because maybe I'm missing something. Now, for those of you that are not sure what I'm talking about, let me show you what I mean by the visual builder for your funnels. So this is WP Funnels. So their way of building these funnels is to have everything on a canvas where you can see all the pages, they all connect together and you see all your stats there. So this way of building the funnels was there before in, uh, in card flows, but they seem to have done away with it. So I'm not sure why. Now, as I mentioned, I prefer having this visually so I can see where all my steps are. If I need to add more, I can just come over here to the steps and add all my steps. 
uh, that way. So after viewing them visually here, I can also see my stats. You can see we can do A-B testing here. We can go in and uh, do all our customizations here. So this is the step that I was really expecting in Cloudflow's 2.0. I'm not sure. Maybe this is in the works. Uh, I'll be very keen to see their take on how they're going to implement uh, this um, visual way of building funnels. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. This is Cutflows 2.0. I'm sure you can agree that the UI is fantastic. And one thing I also need to mention is Cutflows is very, very, very solid. I haven't had any problems with it. So if you choose to go with it, it's very, very, very solid. And the team behind it is very, very experienced. Anyway, guys. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And by the way, the link to cut flows in the, is in the video description below in case you want to purchase it, as well as WP Funnels. All right, guys, take care.